Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So I'm finally getting around to doing the balayage ombre hair tutorial which I have promised on my channel for over a month now. Yay! So I'm actually doing it now. Um, so like I said this was over a month ago that I recorded this and I'm going to forewarn you the quality of the how-to is kind of awful. It was actually recorded in my bathroom which is not very big to begin with. <laughs> And it was recorded on a tripod over my bathroom um, toilet and my brother was taping me and let's just say it turned out kind of awful. I was a little more concerned about doing my hair than about the video and I'm sorry about that but I have to live with my hair whereas video is it's not really as important. So um, some disclaimers at the beginning, um, I'm not a hairstylist. Uh, I only do my own hair. Um, so please do not do this if you're not sure you can or, I mean, it's just hair so if it does go bad, it's not the end of the world, but I really don't want any of you messing up your hair and having that fall back on me because I would feel horrible about you guys burning your hair off. So I'm not a hairstylist. I hardly know what I'm doing with my hair. Um, uh, I also have done like ombre my hair before so this might not be the lightest you will get um, your first time trying this if this is your first time ombre your hair just because like it does take a couple rounds of bleach to get it lighter especially if your hair is darker on top like mine is. Um, so all together I believe this is the fifth time I have bleached my hair so this is after five times me putting horrible chemicals in my hair yay so like I said even if it comes out bad it is just hair you can cut it off or just dye over it um, I, I say that but I know I would totally be devastated if I ruined my hair um, this will damage your hair, uh, you're gonna get split ends afterwards, like you gotta expect that. But um, at the end I'm gonna show you some products that I use to keep my hair healthier and help repair it. So without further ado, if you like this hairstyle, I know it's not for everyone, but if you do, you can check out my tutorial on how I managed to achieve this hairstyle right now. Um, hair dye job? I don't know, obviously I'm not a hairstylist. So here we go. So this is what my hair started as. It was slightly ombre before, as you can see. Now the products you're gonna use is Prism Lights, um, Salon Care in the color blue. You're gonna use Salon Care 20 volume, uh, a standard hair dyeing brush. And you're gonna wanna use the blue one just because it helps with brassiness, a bowl, um, you can use some aluminum foil if you'd like. I didn't end up using it. Some hair clips to section your hair, hairbrush, and some gloves you don't care about. Now, first things first, I emptied all my powder into a bowl. And I needed to use two packets since my hair is so long. And then I emptied the whole bottle of volume into the bowl and mixed it all together so it was a creamy substance. And I made sure that all the powder was mixed in. Now, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but I have a diagram coming up. Um, you want to start with a test piece just so you know how light you're going to get your hair to go. And this is what my test piece ended up. Um, it's the one in the middle, obviously, the lighter part. Now, you're going to section your hair once you're done with that test piece. Now, where you part it normally and then halfway between each so you have four sections total please ignore the horrible faces I am making at the camera I was very annoyed and I was having a hard time seeing it so you're gonna work on the bottom piece for or on the front section first and um, work your way up the side pieces and you're gonna wanna start on the sides of the strand really saturate the bottom make sort of a v-shape and then do several strands in the middle just so there is no straight lines. It's just very like streaky. Um, you want to make sure you get both sides of the strand very well so there's no like patchiness or you can see where you missed. And you're just going to keep working your way up the hair. Um, I really only showed in this video how to do this first section. 
Um, I actually had my brother end up doing the um, back part, so it's kind of hard to see. I mean, I didn't want to film the whole video like this, so I'm just showing you quickly how I put it in my hair. Um, you're, I went pretty high up for my hair just because I wanted it to be look very blonde at the bottom. And um, this is with all the bleach in. And I finished each section. You're going to want to do the front part first because it's time sensitive. Um, so this is the full back. What You can just see the blue um, bleach pretty much all throughout. Now this is a little diagram I made on paint just to try to help you explain a little better what I meant about going up the sides and then going around. And then I washed it out and that is the finished hair. Well, that was a disaster. Um, I'm sorry that the quality did not turn out better. Uh, hopefully I can do an updated one. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with ombre, honestly. Like, I've had it for a while now. But who knows, I, I do like it, so it might happen again, and if I do do it again, I'll record it again, and hopefully it will be better quality and better taping. Um, I actually had my brother finish up the back of my hair because it's harder to see. I would suggest if you have the option to get somebody to help you. I mean, he like really did not want to, but I made him because bleach is a time sensitive thing and I don't have time to be looking at my back and trying to figure out how to ombre my hair. So, um, get someone to help you. Uh, just remember anywhere the bleach touches your hair, it's gonna bleach it. Like, you gotta remember that. Like, you can tell that my hair is done by myself. Um, in some s sections, I mean, I really shouldn't point them out because then people will notice that, but <laughs> yes, there is some mistakes. That's what happens when you do your hair, but um, you gotta expect that if you're not a professional hairstylist. I mean, who cares? It's ombre anyway. Like, there's no specific way to do it. I mean, of course some ombres look way better than others. Don't be one of those people that just dip your hair on in and call it good. Try to not have any solid lines. That's like the biggest thing um, for balayage because it's supposed to be really gradual not knowing exactly where the ombre starts. Um, so that's basically the gist of it. Now, um, I mentioned that you are going to get split ends, so what I recommend doing is getting some extreme hair care repair. Um, this is the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Total Repair Extreme Reconstructing Conditioner. Whew, that was a mouthful. Now, I um, suggest anything in this line. Um, this is the regular conditioner, conditioner, conditioner that I use. Um, then there is a, a Total Repair um, Extreme Emergency Recovery Mask, and when they say emergency recovery, they mean when you pour bleach on your hair. So exactly what we did. So that is what this is for. You just leave it on your hair for a couple minutes in the shower. Um, it comes out soft, uh, stronger. And then finally, once you're done with your shower, I would suggest using the Total Repair Extreme Split End Fixer, like this. If you can see at the front, there's two little holes. Um, one side is white and one side is red. So I'd suggest you mix those two together first, because one time I just kind of poured it on my hair, and where it was bleached, it looked a little red because of that stuff. So I probably was using it wrong, but I was in a rush to get ready that day. So. Um, those are the products I would re recommend after you bleach your hair, just because you put it through a lot. But, um, so once you're done bleaching, just get in the shower, wash it all out, make sure all the bleach is out. Um, it's going to ruin your clothes that you're wearing, I mean, unless you're really careful or wrap up your hair, but I, I didn't have time for that. I was wearing a baby Carlo shirt, which, sad to see it go, but everything has its time. <laughs> Um, thank you for watching. If you liked my makeup for this tutorial, I actually made a separate tutorial on how to achieve this makeup look. Wow, I am on top of my game today. So, 
you'd like to check that out, go ahead and do so. Um, leave some suggestions in the comments below of what you'd like to see next. Maybe, um, maybe suggest some new hair styles for me, hair dyes. I'm, I'm not going to cut my hair. No. And I might. Who knows? We'll see how I feel in a week. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.